Hi, my name's Sam from Webinar Experts, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can set up your own custom hotkeys in Zoom. Okay, so you've been using Zoom for a while and you want to customise things just that little bit more. This is how you do it with hotkeys. Go ahead and launch Zoom. You'll see this window and in the top right, click the small cog icon labelled settings. This will open the settings window and second from bottom, you can see keyboard shortcuts. If we click that, it immediately opens the shortcuts and the list of all of the possible actions on the left hand side that correspond to those shortcuts. Now you can change any of these shortcuts, which is great. It gives a lot of flexibility and allows you to fully customize Zoom to how you like. I'm gonna find something like switch camera. Now you can see that this is by default set to Alt plus N, which isn't particularly memorable. So I'm gonna change it to something which is a lot easier for me. So you simply click the shortcut that is there and you can see the small cursor icon appears so we can type and you simply type in the shortcut you'd like to use. So I'm gonna use Control Shift X. And as you can see, that immediately replaces what was there with my new shortcut. To save this shortcut, simply click outside of that box and it will save. Now the only other thing to mention here is this small tick box to the right hand side. Now this is called the Enable Global Shortcut. What this basically means is that if Zoom isn't the active window on your computer, for example, you might be in a meeting, but you've opened up a Word document to read off the agenda. If you were to use Control Shift and X, this command to switch camera would still work even though you're using Word or Zoom isn't your primary active window. So bear that in mind. You might not always want these shortcuts to work when you're not actually looking at Zoom. So I leave this ticked off for most of the time, but it can come in handy for things like leaving the meeting. And that's really all there is to it. So for more great tips and tricks on how to use Zoom, do hit that subscribe button below. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.